Right, um, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the day before Christmas Eve um, and this is a totally a gaming unrelated video and I've just got to do it because I'm actually pretty excited, I'm, I'm probably more excited than I have been about getting any game or any scaling device I've ever had before. This video, or certainly what I'm going to say, is probably more uh, relatable, if there's such a word, to uh, people in the UK than uh, people outside of the UK, and it's all about broadband speeds. Um, for a, a really developed country like the UK, we have an absolute utter crap broadband network, we really do. And our main uh, telecommunications provider, uh, for the infrastructure side is British Telecom and I'm sure everyone's heard of British Telecom even even from outside the UK you know they're a big big telecommunications company and our broadband network in the UK is absolutely utter utter gash even compared to what I would class as, as countries that are nowhere near as developed as us it's so embarrassing and for years and years and years we've had to put up with crap broadband connections uh, we've only recently uh, been able to get, in some place in the UK, uh, been able to get uh, fibre to, um, it's something called fibre to the cabinet, and basically what it is, it's a fibre connection from the exchange, from the telephone exchange, to the actual cabinet that uh, resides on people's roads, uh, but from the cabinet uh, to your house is still a copper uh, line. Uh, but because it's going fibre from the exchange to the uh, to the cabinet uh, on your road, then you get much better uh, download speeds and upload speeds. Um, basically, I've had to put up with a because um, I live in a town, a smallish town. It's not a big town. Uh, whilst we've got uh, normal broadband, uh, the speeds aren't great, and I'm ooh, I suppose I'm just over a mile. Or a little bit more than that, perhaps, perhaps about a mile and a half from the exchange, and because everything's all copper related, all the wiring's all copper, and obviously the further away you are from exchange, the crappy uh, broadband is. And, and mine is supposed to be round about four and a half uh, megabits, which is absolutely crap. That's download. Up, uploading is just, it's, it's absolutely terrible. It's about 400 uh, kilobits, which the actual upload speed in in real amounts is something like 30, something like 36 or 37 uh, kilobytes a second. Well, you imagine, you, you, you know, these YouTube videos that I do, uh, uploading a YouTube video, a uh, something that is perhaps, I don't know, about 200 megabytes in size, a video, um, would take me about, you know, give or take, about an hour and 20 minutes to upload that size of file and it's absolutely paltry really but because um, my broadband speed's crap or relatively crap and mine's not crap compared to some people's you know but and um, as you may figure because I'm into all the scales and all the technical stuff that I've been doing on on my YouTube videos um, I have played with uh, the router that I've got I've got a certain router where I've upgraded the firmware on it and I can actually manually change the signal to noise ratio on the router so it actually enables me to have a higher sync speed so I've actually been getting more uh, broadband speed than what I should be getting because I've been sort of playing with the with the uh, specifically with the signal to noise ratio on the line and I shouldn't be doing this but this is what I do and plenty of people do it and basically my line should only be running about four, four and a half megabits and and up until recently I've been getting about seven megabits so it's quite a quite a speed increase you have to monitor it and you have to do a bit of administration if it if it starts dropping and you have to wait for retraining periods and so forth but anyway so it you know whilst it isn't too bad it's not great it's not great compared to what you can get in the UK and like I said this fibre technology it's called Infinity uh, by BT, released it to Infinity, and they're going around the country installing it ex at certain exchanges, not all exchanges, but certain exchanges. Now where I live, it was on 
the list of exchanges to do. Uh, it was supposed to have been done March, uh, by March 2012. About three or four months ago, that was changed to December 2012. Uh, so, that's, it, so even from now, it's 12 months away. And I was just absolutely doing me nuts. because I was really looking forward to getting this, this new fibre connection. And basically, what it would give me is is the, the official speed that I get through BT should be 4.5 megabits and and the fibre to uh, the cabinet uh, broadband would uh, range between 30 to 40 megabits uh, download which is an absolute massive increase for me and the upload um, is around 10 megabits which which again is mass, absolutely massive. I mean, that's that's over one megabyte a second compared to my 36k a second that I'm doing now. I mean, it it it, it would just be absolutely unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. So, so like I said, BT had put back uh, the exchange where I live as regards to when they're going to uh, implement it, uh, and I don't know what I can't think what I was doing. I was doing something this morning. Um, I was looking, I was on some site somewhere and I looked at some information from BT about what what uh, exchanges were going to be enabled. That's it, I'd read somewhere that some guy had found out, he'd gone on the BT site and, and basically they'd updated his exchange but they'd put it back even further and I thought, ah oh, Jesus, here we go, I'm going to be like sort of 2013 now by the time I get upgraded. So I went back on BT website or I found a link to another part of the BT website that had a list of all the exchanges. So I looked at the, uh, basically there's three options. One was the exchanges that were ready now. Uh, the other one was the exchanges that are, uh, that are due soon. And the last list was the exchanges uh, that are due, but there's no fixed date for them. So I thought, right, okay, well, hopefully it hasn't changed. So I'll look in the middle list. So I looked in that, went down, couldn't find the exchange. I thought, oh shit. That means it's going to be in the last list of, uh, of exchanges that need to be done, but they've got no fixed date for it. So I looked in that list and couldn't find it. And I thought, oh no, don't say they took the exchange off, because they could have took the exchange off completely. I thought, oh. and I thought, I'll, I'll just look at the list that says uh, ones that are ready now. Can't be on it. I mean, it's not going to be on it. Went down, it's on it. The exchange is on it. It's got fibre at the exchange now. It's ready. So I thought, yeah, what's going on here? So I went onto another BT website and put my telephone number in my postcode in, and it does the checker for you and it come back and said it's enabled on my line it's enabled and they estimate 30 megabit download and 10 megabit upload I only fell off my chair I, I mean I really did I was so excited that I'm gonna check some other websites um, and it is it's on it's all uh, available so I went back to my ISP I went through and processed an order to get upgraded to uh, to fiber and it's all gone through, so I've just got to wait now for an engineer come on site, which will be booked now for, I think it's three weeks tomorrow, uh, engineers coming on site. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is the best Christmas present I've ever had, because I can't wait, I just can't wait to get these, these types of download upload speeds. It, it's going to be absolutely unbelievable. I'm sure many of you guys that are not in the UK are thinking, oh, well, no, that's not mega quick, we've got XYZ, but this is absolutely monumental for me. I mean, it really is to go from, even from from at the moment, I'm at, at about 6.5 megabits, to even go from 6.5 megabits download, and I do a fair bit of downloading, up to a minimum of 30. I mean, that, that's just, I can't imagine that type of speed, especially the upload speed. Which means for me, I'll be able to do better quality videos because I can start doing stuff at 1080p, and there's no point doing it before because the file size was so big, and I can um, at least all the videos that I do now I can make them absolute, well, not studio quality obviously, but I can up the quality of the videos uh, because I've been uh, running a lot of compression on them to bring the file sizes down. So that's going to be absolute bonus. So yes, yeah, so I can't wait. So apologies for people that have listened to this thinking, oh Christ, that's crap that is. Sorry, but I'm really over the moon. And um, yeah, um, I suppose the other thing to say really is uh, happy Christmas to everyone. Um, I won't be doing another video before Christmas. Hopefully I will get a awesome package next week or sometime early next week that I'll do a video on. So uh, happy Christmas to everyone. 
thank you so much for uh, supporting the channel over the past 12 months. Um, and and yeah, I'll, I'll speak to you next week. If not next week, speak to you in the new year. Thanks a lot.